20 minutes max maximum 20 minutes okay so the seventh lab program is a simple application which is a text-to-speech app all right it says you are to develop a simple application with one edit text so that the user i hope you can see it okay i think there's a time delay in between so that the user can write some text in it you create a button called convert text to speech right okay so on the click of this button on the click of this button you are supposed to read out whatever is typed here okay so this was what i was explaining initially not knowing i was talking to myself so that means that here you are supposed to have what another text box right an input text where you are prompt the user to enter a text okay with some message all right so this is very simple guys i will run that and then we will just start with the ui and the ui i will just do drag and drop in the ui or copy paste in the ui and then we will look at the uh, java code together so if you see here i'm going to type something i'll say uh, i'll type my name okay i'll type my name maybe let's see if um let's see if google is able to pronounce my name correctly okay so this is it and once i click on convert text to speech please listen and see if you're going to get any audio output okay now click on that did you hear anything no okay so um i'm going to repeat that again so you should actually read the name out okay so i'm going to type something that is just native to us okay i will say hello my sir okay so once i click on that it's reading it out actually i'm not sure you are not able to hear it okay fine so this is what we are going to do right and once we click that now it will just read it out okay and then and that's it so it's very simple guys uh, if you see clearly you'll be having what only one text view and a d text and a button that's it so i will minimize this and all this i was actually doing thinking you guys were just there so there's no need to waste time on the ui agreed so shall we skip the ui part yes so let's just put it in a split mode and in the split mode what did we do first case we just dragged a text view right so please don't forget rename this from what whatever constraint layout it was change it to what relative layout fine and just the text will be there right as some text okay or a deep text anything you just change it back to text to speech application easy i just centralize it added black color use font size of 30 and made it bold that's it fine now i went and i grabbed what under the text palette i took what a plain text right so I took this plain text and I dragged and dropped it here. Fine. And inside here, what I did, I changed the what? Initially, it was name, right? I changed it to hint. I say type in the text here. That's all. So much. Thank you. So uh, because I actually wasted most of your time thinking I was actually presenting, that's why I don't want us to focus on the UI, right? So in case if you have any, any doubt, please feel free to talk to your friends. Okay, they will help you out. The UI is very simple, guys. So now, thank you. So here we have this button, right? Which says click what convert text to speech. Drag and drop the button. And please pay attention here. I changed the ID. That's it to BTN. Okay, fine. And I think this is the completed one. Sorry. Okay, the, I changed the ID to BTN and I changed what now? Here to what edit text. That's it, all we need. Okay, thank you. So then, now let's look at the Java code. Okay, so till here. The UI is done. Now we need to start with the Java code, fine? So if you do one thing, let's be sure that we are actually not running the previous one, fine? So this one. So I'm gonna close, minimize this, no problem. Now the UI is over. Now here is completely empty. So what are we supposed to do first? We have to do what now? Create the objects of what? Edit text and button, then try to map them inside here, right? So we will start that right away, fine? Okay. So let's get back there now. What is the first thing we are supposed to do? We go back to this, okay? 
and then inside the amend method what we do is what we needed an edit text right so edit text now create an object of that i call it edt for short edt fine semicolon now we needed for button b-u-t-t-o-n fine now in this case i want to call it button button only or you call it btn but don't get confused with the id of the word xml fine so this is done another thing we need is what text to speech class fine because we want on the click of a button an event listener should be called and it should convert whatever we type inside there to what to text to speech right so we just say okay fine text to speech class you see there is present in android.speech.ets now i create an object of that i'm going to call it tts only or you can actually use what is suggested there text to speech so this is fine next let's map them as we always do right so what is the name for a button is called the button only the id right so button then i need to find the id of this button so if you come here and look at this clearly you're going to see the name is still empty right guys so this i'm going to call it only maybe i call it edt txt edit text and this button instead of using this button to avoid confusion i'll call it i'll rename it as btn as i showed you previously right so these are the two ids which you need to map down and if you watch here what we normally do we implement on click whatever listener oh sorry on click method but in this case now we want to use on click listener okay so instead of typing our own met method here so we're going to do that now get back to your main activity or java now it's better we type cast it to button only fine then what was it actually we need what now that view find the view by id r dot id dot what uh-huh so you will see it there it will pop up as the usually the first suggestion is always the best no fine so that is what we need now we need whenever we click this button right so i'm going to use that object btn okay uh dot what am i going to do now okay this is fine yes the button is done so next when i actually do this now i need to use the button id fine that is this button fine dot i'm going to use set an event listener so i'll say click or set on click event listener so referring to which context i'm talking about this context only so what will happen when you call this so if you see here uh just implementing event listener like this without right i'm sorry we're just uh calling the method like this without implementing the body will not actually work right it says okay look at this you need to tell me what should happen when i click on this so we get back to this later so let's finish mapping out i need the edit text right so the edit text uh type cast it to edit text on define next i need to find the word id so again i repeat the same thing here find view by id r dot id dot what uh-huh that is called edit text only right so in case if you still don't know where it is that is this id we are referring to right so this is the edit text and then this is for the button so this is done finally what we need to do now is let me go and implement this so go back here and please watch what happens here it says it still says public class main activity extends app compatibility or app compact activity now click on this get back here and don't type cast this right to on view on click listener just make this implement this whatever and it's going to create another method which is called on click method fine okay so click on that and you see this has added this much implement view dot what on click listener fine so we're going to write some method some code here okay which will trigger that action okay and calling the text to speech engine so if that is the case remember we have actually created an object of this text to speech now so we need it here right so we say fine in this now we need the text to speech method which we take uh two arguments as parameters okay so the first one will be the context or the application context and another one will be what the text to speech listener so what we'll do we'll use that object it is tts now or uh, is and the next one is space now it says on see here on init listener right so this on init listener we present in text to speech 
Okay, so again, I will not be able to get it unless an object is created new. Yes, text to speech on init listener, and immediately it will add this init method. Can you see it, guys? So it will add the init method. Once the init method is added now, we now need to check. So what are we going to do here? So this I actually is the status. So what would the status do? It will check whether, now look here, guys. Once you start this text-to-speech uh, engine, okay? Just imagine, you, there is a text inside the, inside the text box. Once I click, it should convert that. It would now want to know in which language. So that is actually like present in locale. It's actually called locale only. I don't know how to pronounce it. L-O-C-A-L-E, okay? So locale uh, uh, class we need. So it's, it will ask you actually what exactly, which language do I want? Should I want, do I want it in English? Uh-huh or French, or any other language. So I want this to be written, I mean, pronounced, okay, read out, read out in what? English. And please remember, before we go proceed, be sure to just fix this error. It just, it's asking you only to put a semicolon, and this is done. Now what we do is, we now need to check, right, whether the language is set, fine? If the language is not set, we set the language. So we just check whatever is inside the init method. So I need the status, now that status is I, I will now check if it is not set. Fine. Now that is, I need the test to speech object dot. Uh -huh, what I need later. So fine, this is done. And inside here now, what I will do, I will say TTS test to speech dot now set the language. So the language I'm going to use is what English. So I use the first one. And now you can see all the possible languages that are available here. So by default, see, everything is present in what java.ut package. And this UT package is imported by default, right? That's why if you go up, there's no other place you see us importing java.ut, right? So here you see all the possible languages that are available, Canadian English, Canadian French, Chinese, China also, French, France is there, French is there, German is there. So it might be, I mean, ask you now, which of the local is not actually present? See, Korea is also there, Japanese is there, Root is there, so US, UK, and all that, no, what not. So we're going to use what now? The first one. Okay. So put semicolon there. And um, yeah, I think there is nothing much now. So that is done, guys. So finally, if you look at this on click, right, what happens in the on click? So in the on click now, we need to read out the words, the message, whatever is inside, right? So that means we need it to speak it out. So now we now need to call now what the speak method, right? So we use the object which we created before and say dot what? Speak. Now, what is it going to speak? Now, if you watch here, now you see all the arguments, the parameters that it's going to take or arguments that it's going to take. So we need, first thing now, we need the, see, we need what now? The context. So I'm referring to what, which object, which object I'm, sorry, where am I taking the input from? I'm taking it from what, from what? The did text, right? So whatever is in the edit text is what I'm going to read out. So I'll use that object of edit text. I need to get the text that is inside there, no? Now, once this is done, obviously I need to convert it to string. Fine. Now, another thing that we need to understand is after you are done with this, and if I type in another text, it should not read the previous text. I mean, I will repeat again. So let's say I typed hello world. Now, next I will type uh, welcome to my soul. So if I didn't flush the buffer, it's going to return the previous text that was in the text box. Okay, I'm using text box now, but you know it is what a text view, sorry, edit text. So in this case now, I now need to use this method. Okay, TTS dot, uh, you see the queue flush. So this will remove whatever is in the queue and return an empty, like an empty buffer. Okay, so underscore flush, it should be there. It should be the dot Q, okay, F-L-U-S-H, fine, yes, okay? And then the last one is kind of an optional parameter, but for now, I don't want any other thing, I'll just say null, okay? And basically, uh, see, it's going to highlight the, in previous version of Android, this big method is there, but it's telling you, okay, fine, this actually deprecated, but let's see if this is going to work, okay? So, and that is basically what is there. So let's quickly go back to the UI. So we have actually mapped this button. We mapped the, 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 the button and we also mapped the D text. 
and we can actually see, okay, fine, we have a, an ID text, okay, which says enter the whatever here, and we have an ID with the button type. So if I go back here and just call this, uh, click on the button, you should call this what method, okay, on click, okay, you should call this method. That means you should actually check whether I have set the language, okay, if I have not set it, it should set the language back to English, and it has to what now, read out whatever is there, right? Speak method. Read out whatever is in the word text. That's it. So let's just run this now and see. So I'm going to just run that. And we are actually done. Okay. So I think I kind of rushed the class, but I just believe the only thing you need is just this, the text-to-speech class, and then the word, uh, uh, the locale class. Okay. And that's it, actually. And then you, the speak method, that's all. Fine. So here, this is it, and then I will say, okay, welcome back. Welcome back to my serve, something like that. Now, if I click on this, okay, I don't know whether you can hear it actually. Uh, maybe in the live stream is not possible. Can you, can you hear the sound? 